Chapter 341, What Ferocity and Wickedness Tian Ti Mountain was the number one mountain in Central Continent. It was also called the Land of Inheritances and the Mountain of Sages. Its height was over 3,000 kilometers, it was imposing and had a grand presence. Its peak seemed to pierce through the skies and was hidden beyond the snowy fog and clouds. What was extremely unusual was there were not many craggy rocks on the mountain. Giant square-shaped rocks reclined upon each other, stretching from the base of the mountain towards the top, forming stairs. However, the scale of this stairs was so huge that there was an old legend about it in Central Cognant saying the stairway reached the realm of the immortals and was a bridge connecting heaven and earth. There were many touching, mysterious, tragic, and joyful stories revolving around Tian Ti Mountain. Tian Ti Mountain became the holy land of Central Continent's Gu Masters, a place closest to the immortal court. Many Gu Masters seeked for immortality but failed, and before death, they would place their tombs here. At the same time, a large majority of them would also set up their inheritances here. Tian Ti Mountain hid countless inheritances, and only those fated could obtain them. Every year, after clouds and mist that covered it dispersed, Tian Ti Mountain would experience an enormous flow of people. Many inheritances would be inherited, and many new inheritances would be set up. However, this year was different. This year, the inheritance that opened at Tian Ti Mountain was Hu Immortal Blessed Land which led to the appearance of Gu Immortals. After discussing, they made an alliance and locked this mountain, setting up a contest for their sex juniors. Right now, at the foot of Tian Ti Mountain, an intense battle between the youngsters was already reaching its end. Ten thousand cranes flew together and floated around Fang Zheng. Wei Wuxiang was panting and his clothes were in rags, he stared straight at Fang Zheng from within the layers of encirclement by the cranes. No, I haven't lost yet. I still have my trump card. Wei Wuxiang was not resigned to admit defeat after being at the losing end. If it was an ordinary situation, he would have conceded defeat already. But God knew how many elite disciples were fixing their gazes at this match. Wei Wuxiang was not representing only himself but also the heavens envy sect behind him. At the same time, others did not matter but Fairy Bai Xia whom he admired was also watching the match. I cannot lose. With this thought, Wei Wuxiang valiantly activated a goo in his aperture. He had always been hiding this goo, not using it even at the important sect examination. Once this goo was activated, it created a colorless breeze. The light breeze revolved around Wei Wuxiang's body, moving his clothes and caressing his hair. However, Fang Zheng looked like he was facing a great enemy. It was because Lord Sky Crane had already reminded him loudly, not good. This kid actually has injury wind goo. Defend, defend with all your might, this goo can whip up injury wind, it looks light and harmless, but it is extremely terrifying. Heaven's Envy Sex Jr. was not weak indeed. This seems to be his trump card. Injury wind blew, Fang Zheng completely gave up on attacking and used all his strength to defend. Injury wind looked gentle, but wherever it blew, the cranes cried out in pain, countless iron-beak flying cranes crashed down to the ground like their wings were broken. Injury wind blew on Fang Zheng's body, the defensive light around his body continuously flickered. Beads of sweat dripped from Fang Zheng's forehead, he gritted his teeth and transferred the primeval essence from his aperture to his defensive goo endlessly. The stalemate lasted a while, finally Wei Wuxiang sighed inwardly and stopped activating injury wind goo. It was not that he did not want to continue the fight, but his aperture was already close to drying up. Goo masters all had a common point, that was when primeval essence was consumed, the goo master's fighting strength would sharply decrease. Rank 1 to rank 5 goo masters all suffered from the restraints of primeval essence. Only when they went beyond mortal and reached the realm of immortals, 
becoming a Gu immortal, would they be able to have endless primeval essence? I lost. Wei Wu Shang's gaze was dark. He had calculated it clearly, his primeval essence was exhausted and so he did not have any more strength to battle. However, Fang Zheng had been commanding flying cranes to battle from the start, his primeval essence consumption was relatively less and was sure to have some more primeval essence left. Brother Wei is worthy to be heaven's envy sex elite disciple, possessing such unusual and incisive methods, I have increased my knowledge and my horizons have been broadened. My primeval essence has also almost been exhausted by brother. How about we consider this spar as a draw? Fang Jing smiled. What? Wei Wu Shang was stunned. What was Fang Jing saying? He was very clear of his own situation. How could he have a goo that could exhaust Fang Jing's primeval essence? However, Wei Wu Shang immediately realized Fang Zheng was telling a lie. Fang Zhen is giving me a way out of this situation. After understanding Fang Zheng's plan, there was a complex expression on Wei Wu Shang's face. The disciples of every great sect could not casually make their moves. Because they represented not only themselves, but also the sect behind them. Moreover, with Fairy Bai Xia at the scene, Wei Wu Shang could truly not afford to lose this battle. Since Fang Zheng gave him a way out, Wei Wu Shang quickly cupped his fists towards Fang Zheng after hesitating for a moment. Brother Fang is a young hero, I am filled with admiration. Immortal Crane sect indeed has deep foundations for being able to teach a figure like Brother. I have benefited from this spar, and like Brother Fang said, we will consider this match a draw. Wei Wu Shang said so on the surface, but in truth, he secretly transmitted to Fang Zheng, Fang Zheng, I, Wei Wu Shang, shall remember your leniency and will definitely repay it in the future. However, Fairy Bai Xia is my love, I will not concede on this. I will train harder and spar with you again in the future. Fang Zheng smiled, he nodded on the surface, but was inwardly feeling a headache. Wei Wu Shang continued with the secret communication, Fang Zheng, you need to be careful. Fairy Bai Xia has many admirers, not just me. Even with your formidable strength, you will still have four competitors. They are Heaven River Qin De Jiang, Rising Purple Lightning Gu Ting, Nine Death Sorrowful Wind Tang Ru Qi and Tigress Zhao Shu Yi. You are so close with Fairy Bai Xia, they will definitely come find trouble for you. You better not lose. Fang Zheng's gaze could not help but flicker at the mention of these four famous names, feeling that his headache had become worse. As for Lord Sky Crane, he was laughing heartily in his mind. Sure enough, like Wei Wu Shang said, three days later, disciples of ancient soul sect arrived at Tian Ti Mountain. Leading them was Gu Ting, and after knowing of the matter between Fairy Bai Xia and Fang Zheng, he immediately sent a challenge. To avoid this unexpected calamity, Fang Zheng chose to avoid the fight. Gu Ting naturally was not willing to leave the matter at that, he would visit Fang Zheng's residing cave every day and provoke him to a fight. He continued this for seven days in a row. His words became more vulgar as time passed. Immortal Crane Sect's other disciples were unsatisfied and went to find him but were defeated. Ancient Soul Sect's momentum rose greatly, and at the eighth day, everyone went to block Fang Zheng's cave entrance and cursed endlessly. Fang Zheng, you ostrich, still not coming out. Fang Zheng you are hiding now, but can you hide for your entire life? Obediently stop getting in contact with Fairy Bai Xia and Big Brother Gu Ting will magnanimously spare you. Immortal Crane Sect is merely so, they actually taught such cowardly disciple. At the mention of Immortal Crane Sect, Fang Zheng who was in the cave let out a sigh and helplessly walked out of the cave. He could endure the curses directed towards him. However, once it involved his master, his temperament changed. Disciple needed to uphold the prestige of their masters, this was an important value of Central Continent. 
If he did not uphold it, then when he returned to Fahi Mountain later, he would be impeached and even receive punishment. Lord Sky Crane made a loud din inside him, Gahaha. Fang Zheng, my disciple, do you understand now? What I have been telling you from the start is not wrong, right? Blindly enduring will let others misunderstand and bully you. In this world, the more harmless and cowardly you appear, the more people will appear that will want to bully you. Fight, defeat this Gu Ting. Shut the mouth of these people from ancient soul sect. Improve your reputation. Sigh, one has to compromise in this world, I really feel it now. I can only fight. Fang Zheng gained an understanding with this event. Gu Ting, come, let's fight. At the similar time as the fight between Fang Zheng and Gu Ting, far away at southern border San Cha Mountain, a battle ended. The battlefield was a mess, blood all over the ground, smashed rocks, destroyed trees and craters all around. Fang Yuan stood proud on the battlefield while his opponent Fei Li was kneeling on the ground, kowtowing and begging for forgiveness. Lord Fang Zheng, please be magnanimous and spare me. Fei Li continuously kowtowed while begging bitterly. He had a cultivation of rank for middle stage and was also a strength path Gu master. He had been full of spirits, but now his body was soaked with blood, his right arm broken and his two legs fractured cutting out an extremely sorry figure. Since you are begging for forgiveness, then first hand over your expense strength Gu and I shall consider whether to accept it or not. Fang Yuan looked down upon Fei Li, cold light bursting out of his eyes. Fei Li hesitated before handing over expense strength Gu. This Gu was his vital Gu and also his core Gu, it made his enemies waste more strength when making any movements, doubling the expenditure of their stamina. Handing over the expend strength goo, Fei Li lost his vital goo and suffered a heavy backlash, spurting out huge mouthfuls of blood. Fang Yuan's gaze flashed as he accepted expend strength goo, I have considered, expend strength goo is not enough to exchange for your life. Fei Li's eyes opened wide and not considering the critical state of his body, he shouted, Lord Fang Zheng, this is my most precious Gu. Bam! With a shift of Fang Yuan's mind, beast phantoms directly pounced forward and turned Fei Li into minced meat. Pauper! Fang Yuan looked at the disfigured corpse below him and sneered. Then his gaze swept through the battlefield. The spectators were not few, but all of them subconsciously chose to avoid Fang Yuan's gaze. Fang Yuan laughed loudly, what's wrong? Sky Tiger Shue Sanxi isn't here. You guys tell her, we are both strength path Gu masters, three days later, I will come visit her and exchange pointers. The moment these words came out, it caused an uproar. Little Beast King was too violent, a few days ago, he had killed Tyrant Heng Mei, and at this battle, Fei Li begged him for forgiveness, but he did not let him go and smashed him into minced meat. Now, he was going to challenge Sky Tiger Shue Sanxi. What ferocity and wickedness was this? Chapter 342, Biao What, the Little Beast King is challenging me? When she first heard the news, Shue Sanxi refused to believe it. She was thinking, she had no relationship with the black and white demons, she had never offended them, not even meeting them before. How could they come to find trouble with her for no reason? But soon, she investigated, and realized this was true. How can this be? What is this little beast king's brain made of? The three kings' inheritance is opening in a few days, he still has the mood to challenge me. What did I do to you, why are you messing with me like this? Shue Sanxi felt helpless and annoyed. Is it simply because we are both on the strength path, thus he wants to compare who is stronger? Sai, this maniac. Shue Sanxi thought about it thoroughly, finally classifying Fang Yuan as a lunatic, unable to be understood by a normal human. A few months ago, 
she had heard of the reputation of the black and white demons. As the past, the two of them got more famous, as rumors spread further and wider. They are the publicly recognized new rising stars of the demonic path. Initially, Shui Sanxi did not mind it, Fang Yuan and Hu Mei Er had a conflict, and she was gloating over it. But now, she could not laugh anymore. After the black and white demons came to San Cha Mountain, they not only did not keep a low profile, but even create huge problems. Especially that little beast king, he does things with no discretions, unreasonable and ruthless, causing people to feel threatened. Tyrant Hang Mei from Ten Tyrants visited him out of goodwill, but was killed. Fei Li already begged for mercy, but Fang Yuan did not let him off, beating him to a pulp, into meat paste. The thing is, those were rank for Gu masters, with middle stage cultivation. But Little Beast King used initial stage cultivation to kill these two outrightly. Such battle strength bred fear in people's hearts. Shui Sanxi also had rank for middle stage cultivation, she feels that her strength was about the same as Tyrant Heng Mei and Fei Li. Now that Fang Yuan was challenging her, her heart sank as she felt a great threat, even a trace of fear that she had to admit. This Fang Zheng is too cruel and unreasonable. He is trying to step on us, these seniors' corpses to strengthen his reputation. Fei Li was the sacrifice for his ambitions, now it is my turn. Such arrogant acts, Xue San Si had done it when she was young. But back then, she only killed rank 3 Gu masters, she was nowhere near Fang Yuan's ruthlessness, choosing Gu masters at a higher stage than him to battle. To speak the truth, Xue San Si did not want to battle with this lunatic Fang Yuan. But unfortunately, her godfather was in closed cultivation refining a gu recently, now that Fang Yuan publicly challenged her, she had to accept it. In this world, people often had no choice. If she, Xue San Si, did not accept the challenge, the reputation that she had built up all these years would go down the drain. Xue San Si has been in the demonic path for many years. She had a clear understanding of this world's cruelty. This was a difficult world to live in, for that chance of survival, all the different species fight it out with their lives. The kinder and weaker you show yourself, not only would you not gain peace, but you would even get yourself into greater danger, and attract the greed of many. Demonic path goo masters who got to Shue San Si's height have surely killed many people, and offended even more people. The world was like this, if you did not kill people, and offend people, how could you gain the resources needed to advance your cultivation? How could you gain fame from battle results? To defend her reputation, Shue San Si quickly agreed to Fang Yuan's challenge. The two decided on a wide valley as the location for their battle. Three days later, Shue San Si saw Fang Yuan for the first time. She was shocked. Fang Yuan did not have the fierce appearance in her imagination, in fact he looked rather gentlemanly, without any boorish features, his eyes were dark like an abyss, extremely peaceful. Sky Tiger, I've heard of you, you offended a higher up in your clan, and was exiled. You secretly worked hard, taking a risk to kill beast kings, and using the goo worms you gained to arm yourself, finally becoming an expert slowly and steadily. After that, you went back and killed the numerous elders that framed you in the past. To be honest, I admire you quite a bit. Fang Yuan spoke. Such a respectful tone caused people to listen in shock. Why did he change his nature? Speaking so politely. Does he have an interest in Sky Tiger? To be fair, although Sky Tiger looks ordinary, she has the proper curves, her body is great, she is indeed a beauty. Humph, is Little Beast King that kind of person? He disregarded even who may err, he is ruthless and cold-blooded, a fearsome person. I've learned from these few days, you guys should not place any hopes on him. As the people discussed, 
Shue San Si replied Fong Yuan, I'm flattered. Little Beast King, the name of the black and white demons is renowned in this area. Fong Yuan smiled lightly, I cultivate the strength path, you are the same. If we spar, it will help both of us learn more. Before this, I have sparred with Tyrant Heng Mei and Fei Li, these two were great and gave me quite an experience. But such a sparring method is boring to me now. This time, why don't we change the sparring method? Shue Sensi listened, and raised her eyebrows, oh. What idea do you have, I'll listen to it. Simple, I'll stand here and let you hit me. After you finish, I'll hit you. Isn't that great and simple, it will end faster too. How about this, since you are a woman, I'll give you three hits, after that, I will only retaliate with one hit. Fong Yuan smiled as he said. Sparring like that? Shue San Si's eyes glowed, attracted to Fong Yuan's proposal. Fong Yuan staying still and letting her do three hits, such a suggestion was too alluring. All right, let's do that. Shue San Si considered it through, agreeing. Please. Fong Yuan smiled lightly, staying still as he stretched out his right palm. Shue San Si's eyes shone with brilliance, as her killing intent surged, shouting, first move. Several goo worms were activated at the same time in her aperture. Her slim arms burst out in a bright light, turning into two tiger claws. The tiger claws tore through the sky, hitting Fong Yuan harshly. Fong Yuan vomited a mouthful of blood, flying out like a cannonball, landing on a huge rock behind him. Bam! There was a loud crash as the rock exploded, rock shrapnels flying everywhere. Good hit. Fong Yuan laughed loudly, standing up. His chest had an obvious concavity, at least four ribs were broken. Not only that, Fong Yuan felt his intestines were bleeding too. As the intense pain assaulted him, Fong Yuan endured it as his nerves were undergoing a huge trial. Shue San Si's expression changed. That's right, Fong Zheng made a good plan. The more injured he got, the greater the strength he can use. Then do I attack harder or softer now? The harder she hits, the more injured Fong Yuan gets, and the higher his battle strength gets. If she hits softer, when it is his turn, she would be able to defend more easily. No, I should use all my strength to attack. Kill him in three hits. Shue San Si considered as she made up her mind. Second move. She shouted and activated her goo worm, as her body expanded over twice her original size, becoming a giant. The hair on her body became longer, becoming brownish-yellow tiger fur. Her eyes became tiger eyes, and her teeth grew out of her mouth, becoming fangs. On her forehead, there was a symbol. Her strength more than doubled. As she pounced on Fang Yuan, a beast phantom appeared behind her body. A fierce tiger growling towards the heavens, giving off an imposing aura. Its body was covered in brownish-yellow fur, and it had a tough muscular body, most importantly, there was a pair of wings on its back. A tiger with wings. A fierce tiger that has wings. That means it is a, Biao. Tiger was the king of the hundred beasts. And Biao is a flying tiger, the king among the tigers. Three hounds and one molosser, five tigers and one Biao. The strength of a Biao was five times of a tiger. The beast phantom of a Biao can suppress three to four of Fang Yuan's ordinary beast phantoms. Shue San Si's strength had already more than doubled, but now she unleashed the strength of a Biao. Under this huge force, Fang Yuan flew away like a shooting star, landing several hundred steps away, crashing on a mountain wall. Bam! The entire mountain valley shook intensely. The mountain rocks collapsed, engulfing Fang Yuan. Such strength. 
Is Fang Jing dead? No, not yet, his aura is still around. The collapsed rocks were pushed away. Fang Yuan walked out, his arms were completely crippled, his iron bones were broken, his steel tendons were mushed, and his bronze skin was torn. Every step he walked, his body felt weak and was on the brink of collapsing. The Fang Yuan now could definitely unleash eight beast phantoms. But these injuries were recovering. Fang Yuan activated the self-reliance goo, the healing effect now had far surpassed the flesh bone goo. Third move. Shue San Si was anxious, not wanting to give Fang Yuan time to recover. A pair of wings grew out of her back. This large pair of wings was brownish yellow in color, as it flapped, Shue San Si flew to the sky. She flew higher and higher, until she was about one kilometer in the sky, before she dived down. She had calculated it long ago, this was the limit to how high she could go. Any higher and she would get injured from the impact after diving down. As everyone watched nervously, Chue San Si charged towards Fang Yuan. The image of a Biao appeared again. This time, it did not appear above her body, but directly overlapped her actual body. This moment, she seemed to have become a true sky tiger. With this move, you are finished. Shue San Si growled as her killing intent surged. Activating two Biao phantoms in a row caused her to pay a huge price. This was her strongest power, her strongest attack. She was confident of killing Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan looked up at her, activating Golden Shield Gu. But Golden Shield Gu was rank 3, could it block Shue San Si's strongest attack? Chapter 343, Shameless and Despicable The lush valley enlarged rapidly in Shue San Si's eyes. Wind blew past and buzzed intensely on her ears. Shue San Si's face that had completely changed looked down at Fang Yuan with her tiger eyes, the corner of her lips already curled up into a bloodthirsty smile. She could almost see Little Beast King being flattened into minced meat by her unprecedentedly fierce attack. There is no way he can survive such an impact. When she saw Fang Yuan activating Golden Shield Goo and his body covered by the golden light, she could not help but sneer inwardly. Rank 3 Golden Shield Goo. Even if it was the advanced rank for Golden Bell Shield, it would not be able to defend against my attack. The intensity of the battles between rank 4 Goo masters was very high and was not something the defense of a rank 3 Goo could match. This time, I will let these juniors know what happens when they act so arrogantly. Shue San Si's killing intent was already so overwhelming that it was threatening to burst out. Finished, Fang Zheng is finished this time. When they sensed the fierce attack of Shue San Si, many of the spectators shouted out. This is good, Little Beast King had been too rampant, he should be taught a lesson. Many righteous Gu masters were feeling happy at this scene. Looks like Little Beast King wants to rely on Golden Shield Gu to resist this attack. That is really too naive. No, maybe he will activate Beast Phantom. The combined strength of eight Beast Phantoms is not a small matter. But if he does that, he would be breaking the agreement they made earlier. As long as he attacks, he will be breaking the agreement and it will mean his loss. The spectators, whether they were of righteous path or demonic path, all wished for Fang Yuan to lose this battle. Fang Yuan's activities these days brought them an enormous mental pressure. No, there is still an influencing factor on the battlefield, by Ning Bing. Whoosh whoosh whoosh. Several figures suddenly moved to the entrance of the valley and silently surrounded by Ning Bing. These people tacitly took the same measure. If Bai Ning Bing moved to save Fang Yuan, they would stop her. The terrifying thing about the black and white demons was the close cooperation between these two rank four Gu masters. 
Now everything bode ill for Little Beast King after they restrained by Ning Bing. If Little Beast King fell, then only by Ning Bing would be left and it would not be that threatening. Fang Yuan's gaze was indifferent as he looked up at Shue San Si, in the depths of his pupils was a trace of mockery. Shue San Si had yet to collide against him, but a formless wind pressure was already pressing towards him. From another side, it showed the tremendous strength of the imminent collision. The phantom of Biao enveloped Shue San Si, the wings on her back flapped continuously as her speed increased more and more, and closed towards the ground. Soon, this force would collide against Fang Yuan. Suddenly, Fang Yuan's eyes flashed with a bright light, and he activated a Gu. Horizontal charge Gu. He suddenly charged towards the left and then turned around. Vertical crash Gu. He charged a hundred steps away. Little Beast King, Yu. Shue San Si's anger flared up when she saw Fang Yuan suddenly running away, she opened her eyes so wide that the corners were about to rip. She did her best to control her descent, but her speed was too fast and she could only let Fang Yuan run out of her attack range. Seeing Fang Yuan suddenly retreat, the spectators had yet to react and the next moment, there was an enormous explosion like a bolt from the blue. Boom! Shue San Si fiercely collided onto the ground, in that instant, the spectators around the valley could sense the ground under them shaking. Crushed stones shot out everywhere, the collision created a strong wind pressure that immediately shot out towards all direction. Everywhere the wind pressure reached, stones, trees, and plants were all uprooted and moved with it. Smoke and dust whirled around, the enormous destructive force instantly formed a 30 meters huge round crater. Everyone's heart pulsed rapidly in fear, and just as they were feeling moved about this destructive force, Fang Yuan suddenly changed direction and charged into the smoke. Horizontal charge Gu, vertical crash Gu. He used the two Gu one after another and rapidly charged towards Sky Tiger Shue San Si, not caring about the pain from the cold wind pressure and the crushed stones. Shue San Si was in the center of the huge crater, her body covered in dirt from the collision and was cutting out a sorry figure. Her ears kept on buzzing and a burst of dizziness attacked her mind. The fierce Biao phantom had already dispersed. Her incomparably powerful bearing from just before was no longer there. Bitter strength Gu, all-out effort Gu. Fang Yuan hurried, an ominous glint shot out from his eyes. Howl howl howl. Eight beasts roared one after another. Boar, brown bear, crocodile, green bull, horse, stone turtle, white elephant and black python, eight phantoms made their loud debut in the air above Fang Yuan. Strength Chi Gu Yellow gold primeval essence severely depleted as it poured into Strength Chi Gu, creating a huge formless Strength Chi. This strength chi attached itself to the eight beast phantoms, the beast phantoms turned solid and lifelike one after another. With a shift of Fang Yuan's mind, the eight beast phantoms charged towards the crater. Shue San Si's body was shaking and she was just about to pull out her legs from the ground when she suddenly heard beast roars from above her. She immediately raised her head and all she saw was darkness, countless attacks rained down on her like a windstorm. Bam bam bam, the tragic sounds of the battle echoed from the huge crater. Shue San Si did her best to struggle and resist, after all she was a rank 4 Gu master and had strong foundations. However, not even three minutes later, the sounds of battle stopped. Five out of eight phantoms remained and were shortly recalled by Fang Yuan. And Shue San Si, as the loser, had a mournful end. Pieces of her corpse were littered over the crater, her blood sprayed all over the ground and dyed the white bone pieces, there were also the brain matter, hair and so on. Smoke and dust dispersed, the whole battlefield became clear. 
When they saw such an outcome, the spectators all burst out in an uproar. Sky Tiger is dead, another rank 4 Gu Master has been killed by Little Beast King. Didn't Little Beast King make an agreement with Shue San Si? He said he would not not move, but he ended up running. This battle should be Little Beast King's loss. Because he went back against the battle agreement he himself set. The valley was a scene of commotion as the spectators commented and discussed, they were stunned and furious, showing intense resentment and disdain towards Fang Yuan's shameless behavior. Bai Ningbing laughed heartily and her indifferent gaze swept through the battlefield. She had already expected this outcome. The so-called agreement was only a trap Fang Yuan set. What kind of person was Fang Yuan? She, Bai Ningbing, was the person who knew it the best. The Gu masters that were surrounding Bai Ningbing all tacitly retreated at the same time. Fang Yuan heard the rebukes, disdain and ridicule of the many Gu masters around the valley, but he stood there with his hands behind his back and his face tranquil. His eyes squinted as if he was enjoying this. In his eyes, this so-called sincerity was merely people fearing deception, thus hoping and requesting others to follow their standards. Walking the demonic path, one should have no restraints and taboos. So what if he went against the agreement? So what if he did not keep his promise? As long as one had enough strength, they could do whatever they liked. What could others disdain and ridicule do? These powerless and hollow words only manifested the helplessness of the weak, could it hurt a single hair of his? He he he, this Shue San Si is really stupid. She was actually bound by reputation and came running over to accept my challenge. Fang Yuan was in contempt of this, reputation is meant to be made use of, it is only a tool. But in this world, there are so many people who treats fame more importantly than their lives. Huh, really laughable. Of course, I did use some tricks in this match. Shue San Si was different from Tyrant Heng Mei and Fei Li, she possessed flying type Gu and she could just fly to a high altitude if the situation turned bad, and Fang Yuan would have no way to deal with her. Thus, Fang Yuan raised the agreement at the start. His goal was to restrain Shue San Si's movement ability. When he mentioned the condition of three strikes, he had already not planned to abide by it. Shue San Si fell step by step into Fang Yuan's trap, and Fang Yuan's injuries enticed her to continually advance forward. After the second strike, Fang Yuan intentionally healed himself in front of her. Shue San Si was not willing to see her efforts go to waste and under her worry, without thinking much, she flew to the sky choosing to use her strongest attack. However, in the end, Fang Yuan instead borrowed her strength to weaken her greatly by using little effort, then quickly went into attack and killed her. If it was truly an upright and frank battle, Shue San Si could fly with her wings and would absolutely not be so easily killed by Fang Yuan. Little Beast King, you really are shameless and despicable. You went back against the agreement, you are the loser in this match. Many spectators started shouting and yelling, saying similar words. That's right. I admit defeat, so what? Fang Yuan scoffed and replied loudly. His voice reverberated in the valley. The clamorous din suddenly quietened down. That's right, so what if he lost? Look at the winner, she has turned into a puddle of blood and flesh, even her own father won't be able to recognize her. What meaning is there in such an outcome? After reacting to this point, the noises in the valley suddenly rose an octave, much more violent than before. Fang Yuan calmly admitted his defeat and even more showed his shamelessness, causing the spectators to feel indignant and furious. Fang Yuan threw his head back and laughed heartily, since you guys are feeling such anger, do you want to take revenge for Shue San Si? I didn't know she had such good relationships. Come, 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 all of you who wants to take revenge come at me together. 
The fierce criticism from the spectators suddenly quietened down and the surroundings turned silent in a moment. Although Fan Yuan pulled a fast one and killed Xue San Si, Xue San Si was a famous rank for middle stage figure in the end and it was impossible for her to lack strength after the three attacks. However, she was also turned into meat paste by Fang Yuan, displaying Fang Yuan's formidable fighting strength once more. Fang Yuan defeated three rank for middle stage experts in a row with his rank four initial stage cultivation. Such strength, other than a few individuals, who would not feel fear. Moreover, the heavier the injuries Fang Yuan suffered, the stronger his strength became. Fang Yuan arrogantly challenged them, but no one stood up. Demonic Gu masters were mutually restrained and held suspicions towards each other, almost every one of them was a loner, no one stood out for Xue Sen Si. On the contrary, some members of Righteous Path wanted to eradicate this devil Fang Yuan, but they could not easily move at this moment. Why? Because once they stood up, it would become taking revenge for Xue Sen Si. And Xue San Si was a demonic figure. Is there no one that wants to take revenge for her? Is there or not? Fang Yuan again asked loudly. Countless spectators' expression turned gloomy. Some looked at each other but no one replied. If there is no one, I am leaving. Fang Yuan raised his brows and walked a few steps before he stopped, I am really leaving. Still, no one spoke. Fang Yuan's dominance suppressed everyone present. Such a rampant bearing made many rank for experts indignant. Many people became restless but still restrained themselves in the end. Ha ha ha. Fang Yuan raised his head towards the sky and laughed loudly as he walked away with large strides, soon leaving the battlefield. Chapter 344 Talented Without Virtue Big brotherly, you need to make a move. Hu Mei Er lied back on Li Xian's chest and spoke coquettishly. Li Xian was short and fat. He had a round nose, large eyes, and wide forehead, his hair also let out a greasy shine. Right now, one of his short and rough hand was on Hu Mei Er's delicate little waist while the other hand was on her leg. Li Xian was a rank 4 upper stage Gu master. However, he rarely fought, making a living by doing business and was a famous and scrupulous merchant of the demonic path, having wide connections. He embraced Hu Mei Er and said with a lecherous smile, Mei Er, your body feels like there are no bones with skin as delicate as jade. I haven't seen you for a few days and you have become more beautiful. Hu Mei Er rolled her eyes and said in a displeased tone, Big brotherly, I am trying to talk to you. That black and white twin demons offended me, I am already yours, you must seek justice for me. Okay, okay. Li Xian half-heartedly spoke while his ten fingers wandered over Hu Mei Er's body. Hu Mei Er's breathing became rough and her face flushed red. Along with her watery eyes, she looked very alluring. However, her mind was as clear as snow. She tried to persuade Li Xian but he only muttered MMM and did not agree, instead taking advantage of her. Hu Mei Er pushed Li Xian and stood up with a grieved expression, Big brotherly, give me a definite answer. I have been begging you like this, do you not pity me? Sai, my darling, my little treasure. It is not that your big brotherly doesn't want to do it, but dealing with the black and white demons will be somewhat tricky. They are two rank four Gu masters, your big brother Li is a lone force, just one person. Li Xian spread his arms with a helpless expression. Hu Mei Er snorted, All right, I shall lower the bar. You only need to deal against that little beast king. This Fang Zheng is the most hateful. You can leave that by Ning Bing alone for now. This. Li Xian hesitated. Big brother Li. Hu Mei Er saw a chance and threw herself into Li Xian's arms, softly blowing at Li Xian's fat ear. Li Xian immediately felt a fire burning near his crotch. 
His eyes became dazed, okay, since you are asking like this, Big Brotherly will help you take revenge. But. He slightly changed the topic, Three Kings Inheritance will open again in one or two days. There cannot be any problems at this critical juncture. After the Three Kings Inheritance, I will go teach that little beast king a lesson, alright? The opening of Three Kings Inheritance was near and everyone was paying attention to it. Hu Mei Air curled her lips, she did not have much to say about Li Xian's evasion. After a period of intimacy, Hu Mei Air took her leave. Although Li Xian tried to make her stay, Hu Mei Air's attitude was firm, in the end, Li Hao could only send her off. He stood at the cave entrance and impatiently looked at Hu Mei Air's figure gradually getting far and disappearing within the forest. Humph, this little temptress. Li Xian returned back to his cave, the lust on his face nowhere to be seen, replaced by a cautious and gloomy expression. Trying to sow discord and use me as a tool to deal with Little Beast King. This little temptress really thinks she had reached greater success in her enchantment path. Ridiculous. The smile on Li Xian's face was cold, I, of course, have ways to deal with black and white twin demons. But when did I, Li Xian, ever do unprofitable business? He <laughs> he. This little beast King Fang Zheng is not simple. He seems boorish but in fact his thoughts are meticulous. Challenging three demonic goo masters in a row before the opening of Three Kings Inheritance, this definitely was a premeditated plan. Goo masters came from all over the places and gathered at San Cha Mountain, why? Wasn't it for the Three Kings Inheritance? Fang Yuan's aggressiveness had not caused him any troubles. These days, only he found trouble for others, why was it? Because everyone were impatiently watching the Three Kings' inheritance, making every effort in secret preparation for it. Who would want to have a bloodbath with Little Beast King, this lunatic, and miss this great opportunity? No one. This Little Beast King used this psychology and acted unrestrainedly, establishing his reputation. Two days later when the Three Kings' inheritance opens, who will want to block his way? Li Xian shook his head as he predicted the future. Ever since Fang Yuan killed Shue San Si, even he felt some fear towards this little beast king. Before, when Fang Yuan killed tyrant Hang Mei and Fei Li, it did not attract Li Xian's attention. However, when Fang Yuan broke his promise and took the chance to kill Sky Tiger, Li Xian realized what a thorny problem he was. Why so? The Righteous Path categorized talents into four grades. First grade was having both talent and virtue. Having talent and a moral character was the highest quality talent, able to hold his own. Second grade was having virtue but no talent. They might have no talent, but they had moral character. Those with filial piety will obey their parents. Those with loyalty will obey their leaders. Those with sincerity would not break their promises. They could be used with ease, at least no huge problems will occur. Moreover, many abilities could be learned through experience. Third grade was having talent but no virtue. They might have talent but had no moral conduct. With their talents, they could take up a post, but higher-ups would not feel at ease using them, afraid they would someday betray them. Fourth grade was having neither talent nor virtue. No talent and nor moral conduct. They were worthless and no one would feel at ease using them. What kind of figure would be the most trouble when categorized under the demonic path? In demonic path, fourth grade was having virtue but no talent. They did not have talent but paid particular attention to virtue, living among their ideals. Often, it was themselves that would cause their own destruction. Third grade was having neither talent nor virtue. They might not have talent, but they also did not have any moral conduct. They could at least do some lowly works and earn a living. Second grade was having both talent and virtue. With talent, they could fill their stomachs. 
However, at the same time, with virtue, filial piety, respect, loyalty and so on became the ropes that bound them. In demonic path, such a mutually deceptive character decided that such a type of people would not play a key role. And the first grade, having talent but no virtue. Fong Yuan was such a person. He had talent, overflowing with talent actually. H.I.'s aptitude was outstanding, a great aptitude was not something everyone possessed. Secondly, his battle talent allowed him to overstep realms and fight. Tyrant Hang Mei, Fei Li and Shue San Si had cultivation higher than him, but all died a tragic death in his hands, this was enough to prove this point. Finally, he possessed the ability to do business. At Shang Clan City, he did surprisingly well. And in a short period of a few years, he was able to gather such a formidable set of goo worms. If such a talented person had virtue, Li Xian would not be feeling so difficult. However, Fang Yuan was someone with not even a hint of morality. He left Humei air in the lurch, not giving a hoot to beauty. He was boorish, unreasonable, easily killed people and treated life with contempt. He killed Tyrant Hang Mei and other two, each time he smashed them into minced meat, his savage and ruthless nature was clear from this. He deceived Shue San Si and broke his promise in front of everyone, but was still proud of himself. This was even more terrifying. It shows that he did things without any restraint or lower limits, he could betray someone as easily as snapping his fingers with not even a trace of guilt in his heart. Li Xian was deeply aware, if a person like Little Beast King were to be placed in righteous path, in a peaceful environment, they would definitely be excluded by the people, suppressed, banished or imprisoned. However, in the chaotic demonic path with its cruel competitive environment, Fang Yuan was like a tiger entering the mountain, a flood dragon entering the sea. As long as his luck was not too bad, he would definitely have great accomplishments. Such a person, if I had discovered him early, I would have suppressed and killed him. However, now, it is too late, too late. Li Xian sighed deeply. Fang Yuan had already matured and he also had a companion beside him. Although Li Xian had rank 4 upper stage cultivation, he was best at doing business and not at fighting. Naturally, there was always someone stronger. On San Cha Mountain, there were also people that could kill Fang Yuan. They were the four rank for peak stage Gu masters like Kong Ri Tian, Long Qing Tian and others. However, how could Li Xian command such formidable characters? Moreover, these four were all in a subtle restraining balance. Not one of them dared to act blindly and all their eyes were set on three kings' inheritance, how could they have the mood to consider other things? Humph, this little temptress harbors evil intentions. She actually wants to stir me up and fight with such a demonic figure, how is that possible? Not only will I not offend him, but instead I will build a good cooperative relationship with him. All demonic path figures place benefits at the top. However, by killing Shue San Si, Little Beast King has offended another person. Sky Tiger's godfather who is the rank 4 upper stage Gu Master Century Boy. These days, Century Boy has been refining Gu in seclusion, he will definitely appear when the inheritance opens this time. At that time, he will most likely find trouble for black and white twin demons. He he he, I will secretly befriend Little Beast King while staying at the sidelines on the surface. I will watch the battle between Century Boy and black and white twin demons, then after looking at the outcome, I will wait for an opportunity to make a move. No matter what the outcome was, Li Xian would not have much loss. This was Li Xian. An unscrupulous merchant of the demonic path who was an expert at benefiting from others' expense. Swish swish swish. Under Fang Yuan's will, the bright golden primeval essence tide cleansed the aperture walls. Even on San Cha Mountain, he was always cultivating diligently. His actual cultivation was only rank 4 initial stage, 
it was originally only light gold primeval essence, however under the effect of Nine Eyes Liquor Worm, the primeval essence's quality rose by a small realm and changed into bright golden primeval essence. Bright golden primeval essence was an enormous assistance to his battles. This was also one of the main reasons for him being able to kill three rank for middle stage goo masters in a row. These days, my reputation has raised greatly. There are certainly many, many people who hate and fear me. However, what does that have to do with anything? Hee <laughs> hee, what I am treading on is the demonic path, it should be like this. Moreover, this is not earth, here, individual strength can be above a group. In different environments, the rules of the game were also different. If it were on earth, even if one walked demonic path, they would also have to consider moral character. Because on earth, the difference between individual strengths was small. Demonic paths people also could only gather into a group to be able to accomplish grand ambitions. Two more days and it will be the day the Three Kings inheritance opens. It is unlikely for someone to come find trouble for me, I will use this time to refine charging Crash Goo. Fong Yuan had a precise plan and arrangement for his future. Chapter 345 Charging Crash Goo At that time, when Fong Yuan chose horizontal charge and vertical crash goo as his movement goo, he had already considered the situation when he advanced to rank 4. Horizontal charge goo and vertical crash goo were the two main materials to refine charging crash goo. With these two rank 3 goo as the main, together with the goo master's primeval essence and some supplementary materials and so on, to refine charging crash goo. The process of refining charging crash goo was not difficult. Fang Yuan had made sufficient preparations and the success rate of this recipe by itself was rather high. Two days later, Fang Yuan succeeded in refining and obtained a whole new goo, charging crash goo. Horizontal charge goo and vertical crash goo could only charge to the distance of a hundred steps together. But charging crash goo fused from these two goo increased this charging distance to 200 steps. At the same time, the delay between repeated use was also decreased by half. However, the consumption of primeval essence was increased a little. But this small flaw was nothing to Fang Yuan who possessed the Nine Eyes Liquor Worm and Heavenly Essence Treasure Lotus. I already have six rank four goo now, bitter strength goo, Charging Crash Goo, Yang Goo of Yin Yang Rotation Goo, Nine Eyes Liquor Worm, Expend Strength Goo and Blood Skull Goo. All Out Effort Goo, Strength Chi Goo, Golden Shield Goo and others are all rank 3. They are slowly failing to keep up with my requirements. Most of the Goo on Fang Yuan were rank 3. He was, however, at rank 4 initial stage now and possessed middle stage bright golden primeval essence, thus these goo worms were gradually becoming unsuitable for him. Naturally, it did not mean that the higher the goo, the better they were. For example bone flesh unity goo. It was only a rank 3 goo, but it could allow many goo masters to use it even at this rank. This made its value stand out. On the whole, however, goo worms and goo masters needed to have a mutually cooperative rank, and was best if it were the same for it be more convenient in using them. Fang Yuan made a small consideration, he had a lot of goo worms to upgrade. First of all was the all-out effort goo. The all-out effort goo on him was only at rank 3, it could only activate rank 3 beast phantoms. To advance its rank, he would need to get the undefeated 100 battles goo from 3 kings inheritance, so this plan could only be put aside for now. Strength Chi Gu was also at rank 3, but Fang Yuan did not have its corresponding recipe, so he was unable to advance it. Fang Yuan planned to advance rank 3 Golden Shield Gu into rank 4 Golden Bell Shield Gu. The storage type rank 3 Tusita Flower could be upgraded to rank 4 Tusita Lantern Gu. Self-Reliance Gu was also a rank 3 Gu, but it was already at its peak stage and did not have relevant recipe for its advancement. But although it was a rank 3 goo, 
as long as Fang Yuan displayed formidable strength, its healing effects could match with rank 4 healing Gu. Similar to self-reliance Gu was bone flesh unity Gu. Breath concealment Gu that was used to hide cultivation was also at rank 3. Although it could be advanced, Fang Yuan decided lay it aside. At the present time, he did not need to hide his aura. And Heaven Essence Treasure Lotus was also at rank 3. Fang Yuan already possessed the fusion recipe for rank 4 Heaven Essence Treasure Monarch Lotus. But he needed to obtain a number of spirit springs to refine it. This was a large project and could only be put aside for now. Calculating like this, Fang Yuan needed to advance all out effort Gu, Golden Shield Gu, Tusita Flower, and Heavenly Essence Treasure Lotus, these four Gu. However, it was not just like that. Fang Yuan had used Iron Bone Gu, Steel Tendon Gu, and Copper Skin Gu to transform his body. These Gu were all Rank 3 Gu. The defense they provided during fights between Rank 4 Gu masters were little. There were also the eight phantoms in Fang Yuan's body, none of them were from Rank 4 Strength Gu. Thus, Fang Yuan also needed replace these phantoms. The eight phantoms I have are from Ordinary Beasts. Only by replacing them with Biao Strength Phantom, Mastiff Strength Phantom and so on, can I display the strongest fighting strength in Rank 4 Realm. Fang Yuan had been interested in the Biao Strength Gu of Shue San Si. However, he had turned Shue San Si into minced meat and the Gu worms on her body were also destroyed. Fang Yuan's methods were too brutal. He frequently smashed his enemies into meat paste. Although this was also a constant characteristic of Strength Path Gu Masters, this method was too violent and there would seldom be any surviving Gu worms once the battle ended. Fang Yuan had won against three rank for demonic Gu Masters in a row, but only obtained an Expend Strength Gu. And this Expend Strength Gu was also surrendered and contributed by Fei Li of his own accord. The way Gu Masters obtained Gu Worms was basically from trading, raising, capturing, fusing or reverse refining. Gu Masters rarely obtained Gu Worms as their victory spoils. On one hand it was because Gu Masters used secretive and dangerous methods. In case a battle started, both sides would use all their strength to attack and would not spare anything for their safety. Like this, the Gu Worms would also be wrecked and destroyed. On another hand, it was extremely easy for the Gu Masters to destroy their own Gu Worms. It only required a thought from them and their Gu Worms would self-destruct. I have a lot to do to advance all of them. Fang Yuan sighed and walked out of the cave. Bai Ningbing was already waiting for him at the cave entrance, and was gazing at the peak. Fang Yuan followed her gaze and also looked up. He only saw enormous light pillars rise from the three highest peaks of San Cha Mountain, piercing through clouds and soaring towards the sky. Its enormous aura felt like it was supporting heaven and earth. The three kings' inheritance had opened. With this inheritance, my set of strength path Gu will be taken to perfection. Fang Yuan's gaze was burning but he restrained it. Although he had outstanding battle prowess, it was still not his turn to take the stage. Whoosh 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 whoosh. Four figures separately charged out from east, south, north and west, they stopped in mid-air and confronted each other. Rank 4 peak stage aura were let out without any concealment. From the eastern direction was Poison Path Gu Master Long Qing Tian. He had long black hair, pale green skin and his green pupils faintly flashed like there were two cold fires burning in it. From the western direction was Righteous Path Wu Clan's elder Wu Shintong. His fame was powerful and domineering, but his body was thin like a sickly scholar. He had pale complexion and coughed from time to time as if he could not endure this mountain wind. From the southern direction was the demonic path expert Kong Ri Tian. He was wearing flower patterned gown. He had a smile on while standing in the air, pink butterflies fluttering around him. 
From the northern direction was Yi Clan's elder Yi Chong. His whole body was covered with blue fish scales which formed into a thin armor. H.I.'s nose was long and protruding out, his eyes were larger than twice that of a normal person's and he had a head full of blazing unkempt hair. The muscles in his whole body tangled forming layers of lumps. His stature was short but his physique was extremely imposing. An enormous triangular fin grew out from his back like the black fin on a shark's back. These four were currently the strongest goo masters at San Cha Mountain. Rank 4 peak stage cultivation was only a step away from rank 5. If they advanced to rank 5, they would be the monarchs of the mortal world and wield power over a region, their might and aura would spread everywhere. These four had already confronted each other for months on San Cha Mountain. They had also fought many times with each other over this period of time, but no one could do anything to other, forming a chaotic situation. Righteous paths Wu Shintong and Yi Chong appeared to be allies but inwardly, they were not of one mind. While Kong Ri Tian and Long Qing Tian would also occasionally collaborate if the situation turned bad. These four occupied the top caves and were closest to the inheritance entrances at San Cha Mountain. The appearance of these four attracted the gazes of all the Gu masters on the mountain. The inheritance was right before their eyes. No matter who it was, they were all restraining the desire to make a move. After the short stalemate, Kong Ri Tian chose King Bao's inheritance, Long Qing Tian chose King Xian's inheritance and Wu Shen Tong chose King Quan's inheritance. The three inheritances did not correspond with each other, but there were four rank for peak stage Gu masters. The Gu master remaining, Yi Chong, hesitated for a while before finally choosing King Bao's inheritance. With this, King Bao's inheritance has Kong Ri Tian and Yi Chong, two experts. Long Qing Tian chose King Xian's inheritance this time, we fell in his trap last time, we must avoid him. Wu Shen Tong is an enslavement path Gu master, Reportedly he has already advanced to middle stage of King Quan's inheritance. In this inheritance, he is like a fish in water and can display extraordinary strength. If we choose King Quan's inheritance, we might only get his leftovers. While the crowd was discussing, a group of Gu masters ascended to the peak. They were rank 4 upper stage Gu masters. Some had bizarre appearances, some were fiendish, some had dignified appearance and some were gloomy like forest. Among them, one was a boy wearing black clothes. Before he entered the inheritance, he looked down and gazed deeply at Fang Yuan. Humph, century boy. Fang Yuan narrowed his eyes and let out a dangerous aura. Century boy was also a strength path Gu master and was the godfather of Shui Sanxi, her patron. Fang Yuan killed Shui San Si and offended Century Boy. However, with the Three Kings inheritance in sight, Century Boy did not have the mind and heart to settle the account with Fang Yuan now. But once the inheritance closed, he was sure to make his moves against Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan had not the least bit of fear towards this and was instead secretly looking forward to it. With his current strength, he was almost unrivaled among rank 4 initial stage Gu masters and could also prevail over ordinary middle stage Gu masters. However, he would be evenly matched against rank 4 upper stage. Above that, rank 4 peak stage would be a difficult opponent. However, if those rank 4 Gu masters like Kong Ri Tian and others wanted to kill Fang Yuan, they would also pay a disastrous price. As the Gu Master's cultivation reached the later stages, the difference in each small realm was big and it would get more difficult to cross these ranks to battle, let alone cross realms to battle. Fang Yuan possessed plentiful battle experience and also had a set of excellent strength path Gu Worms, but he was also only able to cross one realm and kill middle stage Gu Masters. Of course, if I replace my Gu Worms to rank 4 then I will have the strength to win against upper stage Gu Masters. And even be evenly matched against rank 4 peak stage. 
three kings inheritance, here I come. At once, Von Yuan activated charging crash goo and charged towards the peak. Rank 4 upper stage goo masters had all entered the inheritances. The light pillars of the three inheritances were already a lot dimmer. A group of rank for middle stage Gu masters were just ascending up San Cha Mountain, when they suddenly saw Fang Yuan and Bai Ning Bing charge towards them. All of their complexions changed and by some tacit agreement, got out of the way. Fang Yuan and Bai Ning Bing entered King Quan's inheritance together. Chapter 346 First Entry into King Quan Inheritance the moment his body entered the light pillar, Fan Yuan felt an intense weightlessness. When his vision cleared up, he found himself standing in the wilderness. All he could see around him was the grayish-white sky. On the ground, the gray-white rocks formed into short mounds, like gravestones. The gray-colored ground was not fertile, it was hard and dry, with some yellow grass growing in between the cracks. The sky was white, the earth was gray, and the grass was yellow. The world had three colors. Other than that, there were no other colors. All he could hear was silence, or rather, dead silence. There was no wind, no swaying tree leaves, no cries of birds and beasts. Anyone standing here would feel that in this entire world, he was the only person left, a lone survivor. Being in the land of nothingness, loneliness, solitariness, loss and even fear would grow in their hearts. Although he went into the inheritance with Bai Ning Bing, at the moment, Fang Yuan was alone. But Fang Yuan was extremely calm. So this is King Quan inheritance. He looked around, muttering to himself softly. Compared to an ordinary rank 5 Gu Master's inheritance, the Three Kings inheritance had a huge difference. An ordinary rank 5 inheritance, be it central continent, southern border, northern plains, eastern sea, or western desert, they were all in the main world. But the Three Kings inheritance was built inside a Gu immortal blessed land. Back then, the three kings were stuck and discovered the inheritance of an ancient Gu immortal by accident, starting their legend. The three kings were all geniuses in their own field, after failing to advance to rank 6, they set up their inheritances in this blessed land before their deaths. Thus, Fang Yuan was no longer in the main world now. Gu immortal blessed land, a small world that existed within the main world. Every world had different rules and laws. Entering a world means obeying and following its rules. Although Bai Ning Bing entered the inheritance with me, she was definitely sent to another place in this small world. But it is not a problem, as long as she continues to advance into the inheritance, we will definitely meet along the way. Fang Yuan knew that this was the unique law of space inside a small world. At the same time, there was also a difference in the flow of time. The flow of time here is three times that of the outside world. In Fang Yuan's aperture, the slumbering spring autumn cicada had awakened, and was recovering at three times the speed inside this world. The spring autumn cicada fed on the water in the river of time. In this small world, the water flow in the river of time was three times faster than the outside world. Thus, it greatly assisted the spring autumn cicada's recovery. But this was not good news to Fang Yuan. The pressure that the spring autumn cicada emits in its perfect condition was not something a rank 4 aperture could contain. The King Quan inheritance, although it was a chance for Fang Yuan to grow, it was also a land of death that escalated his demise. Staying here for one day means three days outside. I have to hurry, and conserve my time. Fang Yuan felt a strong sense of urgency. Thankfully, with his memories, this King Quan inheritance of a rank 5 Gu master was not unfamiliar to him. If I am not wrong, there should be a dog-type wild beast around here somewhere. Fang Yuan moved around, looking all over the place, searching for what he had in mind. 
Woof, woof, woof. Suddenly, he heard a cry from afar, as a weak wild dog ran towards Fang Yuan with its eyes glowing in a weak green light. This wild dog was thin to the bones, its teeth were yellow and it was only at the height of Fang Yuan's knee. It appeared extremely ferocious, evidently hungry, after smelling the human flesh that was Fang Yuan, it rushed over without hesitation. Fang Yuan frowned, this wild dog was very ordinary, meeting it in the first stage was his bad luck. He stood quietly on the spot, letting the dog run towards him. In the currently environment, Fang Yuan could not utilize his other Gu worms, he could only use the rank 1 dog enslavement Gu. This was the restriction of the laws in this small world. King Quan modified the Gu Immortal Blessed Land, allowing a Gu master to bring in a rank 1 dog enslavement Gu into his inheritance, and at the same time, other Gu worms cannot be used. Of course, other than the Spring Autumn Cicada. Spring Autumn Cicada was a rank 6 Gu, after a Gu worm reaches rank 6, be it the main world or the small world, there only exists one of it. Spring Autumn Cicada was not a mortal being, it was an immortal Gu. Even in the blessed land, it could be used freely. Not just King Quan inheritance, King Xian inheritance and King Bao inheritance are the same. When the Gu master initially enters the inheritance, they can only use the rank 1 dog enslavement Gu, paper crane Gu, and exploding egg Gu. Seeing the wild dog rush towards him, Fang Yuan activated the dog enslavement Gu in his aperture. This dog enslavement Gu, looked like a jade stone, only thumb size. The exterior of the jade stone looked like a dog head. Fang Yuan only used one drop of light golden primeval essence, to activate this dog enslavement Gu. The dog enslavement Gu turned into a jade light, bursting out and turning from solid to hollow, next, it flew into the wild dog in the blink of an eye. The wild dog cried out, as if it was heavily injured, and fell on the ground. Because it was running, it slided across the ground until it rolled to Fang Yuan's feet. After resting for a while, the dog got up. But this time, it did not bear its fangs at Fang Yuan, but instead, sprawled on the ground, sticking out its tongue and wagging its tail. Get up! Fang Yuan willed. The wild dog obeyed and got up. Its body had soft fur, the fur was dark but there was no injuries on it. The dog enslavement goo directly went into its soul, it did not cause any damage to the dog's physical body. Its four limbs were on the ground, and the head was only near Fang Yuan's knee. Fang Yuan observed and shook his head. This was an ordinary wild dog, it had little battle strength. But precisely so, he could use the dog enslavement goo on it so easily. Regardless, I have to rely on it to get through the second round. Fang Yuan was thinking in his mind, when suddenly a force from heaven and earth engulfed his body. Immediately, Fang Yuan could not move an inch. In front of him, a light flashed and a second dog enslavement goo appeared in front of him. Fang Yuan knew this was the reward from the inheritance, as well as the key to the second round, thus he quickly refined it. This dog enslavement goo was also rank 1, it was easy to refine. When Fang Yuan refined this goo, and kept it into his aperture, with a swoosh, he vanished on the spot, moved to another location by the heavenly power. This was still the wilderness, with white sky, grey earth, and yellow grass. Fang Yuan stood on a low mound, as three wild dogs were surrounding him. They were all thin as twigs, as two were lowering their heads scavenging for food. The third was slightly older, lying on the ground motionless. Fang Yuan's sudden appearance caused the three dogs to go crazy. They started running like they were jolted with lightning, towards Fang Yuan from all three directions. Fang Yuan controlled the first wild dog and activated its ferocity. 
Under Fang Yuan's command, it bared its claws on one of the wild dogs. But it could only stop one wild dog, soon, the second closed in on Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan reenacted the same scene from earlier, using the second dog enslavement goo and tamed it. The third wild dog pounced, and Fang Yuan split his concentration into two, commanding both wild dogs to attack. If it was an ordinary goo master, and was not familiar with the dog enslavement goo, holding two fights at the same time would cause them to lose their bearings. But Fang Yuan was not nervous, in fact he was not even going all out yet. With his 500 years of experience, Fang Yuan had commanded numerous beast groups to battle. Especially the blade-wing blood bats from the Blood Sea Inheritance. In this life, for San Cha Mountain's inheritance, he had trained for several months in Shang Clan City, familiarizing himself with controlling dog groups. The battle proceeded smoothly in Fang Yuan's expected direction. But Fang Yuan frowned, the first wild dog's body condition is terrible. Fighting like this, even if I win, I will only be left with one wild dog. As he considered this, he consciously directed the two dogs to retreat while fighting. Eventually, Fang Yuan successfully merged the two battles together. This increased the pressure on Fang Yuan's commands, but it also established great advantage for him. Fang Yuan's two wild dogs were cooperating perfectly, but their enemies were fighting alone. Not long after, this intense battle ended. The corpses of two wild dogs laid on the ground, blood flowing out of them. The wild dogs Fang Yuan controlled stood on the ground, covered in wounds. The first dog was more injured, while the second dog was relatively healthier. The battle had just ended, when the heavenly power descended again, wrapping around Fang Yuan and his two ordinary wild dogs. His vision changed again, as weightlessness assaulted him. Third round. Fang Yuan observed his surroundings immediately. This time, he was standing on the top of a mound, surrounded by six wild dogs. Six. Fang Yuan's gaze concentrated, feeling pressured. He had two wild dogs with him, having to fight against three times of his force, at the same time, his dogs were injured. Without time to rest or think, the six dogs detected him and immediately attacked. Fang Yuan's eyes brightened, as he saw a pit nearby, he jumped in. He jumped into the pit, with a hard wall behind him, he placed both his dogs in front of him. The six wild dogs rushed towards him, at differing speeds. The two healthy wild dogs rushed up first, while the remaining four, with different injuries, were far behind. Seeing this, Fang Yuan heaved a sigh of relief. If these six dogs were healthy, he had no chance. But with this terrain advantage, and his skilled manipulation, he was confident of passing this round and moving on to the next. Chapter 347 What level of proficiency in enslavement path is this? Woof 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 the sound of furious barking of dogs echoed endlessly. Dozens of dogs were in a fierce fight, one side had many numbers but their formation were scattered. Another side had fewer numbers, but they were in a tight formation, and furthermore they were displaying battle tactics like shielding, retreating, attacking, and so on. Fang Yuan stood on a nearby hill and overlooked the whole battlefield while commanding his dogs. This was already his tenth battle in King Quan's inheritance. With his plentiful experience and the understanding of King Quan's inheritance, he had sprinted through the whole process without any incidents. The battle lasted for five more minutes before it ended. In the whole battlefield, there were nineteen dogs still standing, all of them the result of Fang Yuan's hard accumulation. Fang Yuan softly let out a breath of turbid air, his mind felt slightly exhausted. In King Quan's inheritance, the difficulty increases sharply every ten rounds of battles. 
I used 28 dogs this time but had to sacrifice 9 of them to resist the assault of nearly 60 dogs and cross this barrier. To be honest, Fong Yuan had some alarming moments during this process. The three kings were demonic goo masters, demonic inheritance always held the law of the survival of the fittest, an intense and cold competition. This round should be enough to eliminate most of the participants who want to steal benefits. There were countless righteous and demonic goo masters on San Cha Mountain. Every time the three kings' inheritance opened, large numbers of goo master would come pouring in to try their luck. However, no matter which inheritance of the three kings' inheritance it was, they were all extremely strict. To choose the most suitable inheritor, the barriers the three kings set up were high. Among the three kings, King Quan was an enslavement path Gu master, King Xian was a refinement path Gu master, and King Bao was a fire path Gu master. Their chosen inheritors naturally should also follow these paths. The difficulty of the first ten rounds ruthlessly eliminated most of the Gu masters of other paths. At the thirtieth round, there would not be any Gu masters of other paths. At the fiftieth round, those remaining would be elites and geniuses of these paths. At the seventieth round, only experts with deep foundations would remain. Very few could reach the ninetieth round and they could be counted with two hands. Especially from 90th to 100th round, the final 10 rounds, the difficulties were extreme and unsurmountable like the heavenly chasm. Even a monster like Fong Yuan could not cross it. In his previous life, the Three Kings' inheritance lasted for close to 10 years. It involved countless people, both demonic and righteous, heroes and villains. As of now, it had not been even a year since the appearance of the Three Kings' inheritance and it was in its early stage. It was already amazing for many people to be able to charge through a dozen barriers. By the middle stage, the participants would find it difficult to continue from around 50th barrier, they would exchange their experiences and sum up many rules. At the late stage, most of the participants would hover around 70th to 80th barrier. Only an extremely few number of participants would be struggling at 90th round. These people were mostly rank 5 Gu masters, their every action attracting many gazes. And at the final period, the mystical figures of many rank 6 Gu immortals also appeared. Fang Yuan remembered most of the parts clearly. Of course, there were also some blurry areas, but they were minor details. He had a deep understanding of three kings' inheritance. He knew no matter which inheritance he chose, he could only charge to the ninetieth round with his strength. After the ninetieth round, the barriers were all something only rank five Gu masters had a chance of clearing. Fang Yuan knew it would be very difficult for him to cultivate to rank five. Ten years was absolutely not enough. This was not only because cultivation became more difficult the higher the Gu Master advanced, but also because of spring-autumn cicada. In this Gu Immortal Blessed Land, time flow was quickened which intensified the recovery speed of spring-autumn cicada. This was an enormous threat to him. Heavenly power descended once more and Fang Yuan's vision flashed. In a split second, he found himself transported to another strange place. His field of view was not clear as the previous ten rounds, the surroundings were filled with dense grey fog, making one unable to distinguish even the directions. Apart from rank six spring autumn cicada, none of his other goo worms could be used. Nineteen dogs walked around him, but there was only a faint connection left from the dog enslavement goo. However, Fang Yuan was not flustered, he was clear that starting from the tenth round, the inheritance would give every challenger the power to choose. He stood calmly and soon was able to distinguish. Towards the depths of the fog on his left was an orange glow like someone had turned on a lantern. It was accompanied by a sound, the clear sound of a dog's bark. Towards his front was an indistinct black human shadow, appearing near but also far. 
Towards his right, in the depths of the gray fog, a ball of blue lightning crackled. The orange light represents Chrysanthemum Akita dog. This dog is more loyal than the ordinary dogs with me, they are easy to control and can execute exquisite battle tactics. The blue light should be lightning symbol dog, it is very fast, faster than ordinary dogs by two times. And the black human figure should be my opponent, another goo master. Fong Yuan pondered. These were all reminders provided by King Quan's inheritance to him. The first time a person enters, they would have a blurred vision and could only feel their way through the barrier, not able to make the most beneficial choice. However, Fong Yuan was well aware, whether it was Chrysanthemum Akita Dog, Lightning Symbol Dog or the Goo Master, they were all challenges but also opportunities. Fong Yuan considered it for just a short while and directly walked forward, abandoning the left and right directions. As he walked forward, the gray fog started becoming thinner and his vision became clearer. At the same time, his control over his 19 dog enslavement goo also became stronger. And the gray fog on his left and right became denser. Han Balu stood still, calmly looked at the person that walked out of the fog. Han Balu was already 48, he was a righteous path goo master with a cultivation of rank 4 middle stage, and had already entered King Quan's inheritance many times. This allowed him to have a lot of understanding regarding King Quan's inheritance. Right now, as he saw Fang Yuan's figure in the fog walking slowly towards him, he immediately knew this was his opponent. However, he was not in the least bit nervous. He was an enslavement path goo master and was like a fish in water in King Quan's inheritance. In this special environment, all the previous accumulation of goo masters were not counted. They could only use the goo the inheritance gave them to fight. The difference in cultivations had sharply decreased. This person is really unfortunate, actually bumping into me. I will do my best to win against this person with the smallest loss. Then I will charge towards the 22nd barrier. Han Balu was very confident towards himself. He had charged to 21st barrier last time. Such an accomplishment was one of the best in his circles, even surpassing many rank 4 upper stage and peak stage goo masters. Fang Yuan stepped out of the fog, his eyes as dark as the abyss and his expression as tranquil as water. Han Bulu's pupils shrunk rapidly as he revealed a terrified expression. It is Little Beast King. He immediately felt nervous and panicked. Although Fang Yuan had arrived in San Cha Mountain not long ago, he had killed three middle stage Gu masters with his initial stage cultivation. His might was awe inspiring and his vicious reputation had spread far. Han Balu was also at middle stage, but he, himself, knew his battle strength could not compare to Sky Tiger and others. But soon, Han Balu regained his senses, this is the Gu immortal blessed land, not the outside world. In this round, we can only use dog enslavement goo. Little Beast King can't use his goo set. He walks the strength path and is so young, how could he have any proficiency in the enslavement path? Han Bulu's eyes shone with ecstasy and greed as he roared in his mind, Ahahaha, this is a heaven-sent opportunity. By killing Little Beast King, I can greatly spread my reputation. By taking his goo worms and selling them, I can make a lot of primeval stones. Dogs, charge. Righteous path inheritances were gentle and usually did not cause any deaths. Sometimes, even when someone failed, they would have some gains. However, King Quan's inheritance was a demonic path inheritance. Here, one could kill and death was a normal thing. The most crucial thing was in this Gu immortal blessed land, Gu masters could not utilize their Gu worms. This meant if the Gu master died, they cannot will their Gu worms to self-destruct. The Gu masters on San Cha Mountain had already discovered this point through fights. This led to a sharp increase in the number of casualties in the inheritance. At outside world, 
Gu masters could cause their Gu worms to self-destruct before their deaths, not letting their enemies have them. The profits from battles were very small. But here, if a Gu master died, their Gu worms would be left behind. This enticed people to commit crimes. If Han Balu killed Fang Yuan, almost all the Gu worms on Fang Yuan would be left behind. Such enormous spoils caused Han Balu to let out his killing intent without restraint. With a shift of his mind, eleven dogs charged towards Fang Yuan. Woof woof woof. They let out savage barks, and seemed unstoppable. Fang Yuan was indifferent, he waited till these dogs neared him then waved his hand. With a light wave, nineteen dogs rushed out from the grey fog behind him. 19. Han Balu was extremely shocked, his eyes almost falling from their sockets. How can there be so many? He was filled with doubts. He was an enslavement path Gu master and had a lot of experience in commanding dogs, but despite his greatest efforts, only eleven dogs remained when he was done with the tenth round. And little beast king, this strength path Gu master has nineteen. A whole eight more than his. What level of proficiency in enslavement path was this? No. Impossible. This is absolutely because he was lucky, otherwise how could he have so many dogs remaining? The true contest starts now. I will let you see what the commanding skill of an enslavement path Gu master looks like. Han Balu calmed his mind and was soon filled with fighting spirit. In his opinion, Little Beast King was so young, no matter how much of a genius he was, he could not advance in both strength path and enslavement path at the same time. Eh. A flaw. Fang Yuan had been observing his opponent from the start. Seeing Han Balu's expression change irregularly, he immediately grasped this fleeting chance and decisively mobilized the few strongest dogs to form an offensive arrow formation. The next moment, this arrow suddenly broke the opponent's formation. Oh no! Han Bulu's heart jumped rapidly as he immediately controlled his dogs. However, how could Fang Yuan give him this chance? His remaining dogs formed into two exquisite arcs and outflanked the opponent's formation from left and right, seizing control of the situation in an instant. Chapter 348 Chrysanthemum Akita Dog this was an intense slaughter. Han Balu tried to resist desperately, trying to overturn the situation. But Fang Yuan saw through his actions every time, destroying his battle tactic. All his resistances were suppressed. Every effort he put in yielded no result. An hour later, there were only eight wild dogs left, they were all Fang Yuan's. Han Balu's expression was pale, sweating profusely as he stood dazed on the ground. Plop! He suddenly kneeled on the ground, begging Fang Yuan, Lord Little Beast King, please spare my life. I will do anything for you to repay your kindness. You are a genius, a monstrous genius. I was scared and had no options but to battle you. Your mastery of the enslavement path has left me utterly speechless in admiration. Lord Little Beast King, from today onwards, you are my master. Oh, is that so, but how do you want me to see your sincerity? Unless you are willing to let me use the slavery goo. Fang Yuan laughed lightly, manipulating eight wild dogs to surrounding Han Balu. Han Balu flustered, Lo, Lord, inside this goo immortal blessed land, goo masters cannot use their goo worms. Moreover, I do not have a slavery goo. Then I have no choice. Fang Yuan waved his hand coldly, as eight wild dogs pounced. Lord Fang Zheng. No. Han Balu jolted up, screaming in fear, trying to escape. But it was already too late, the eight wild dogs surrounded him, opening their mouths and chew on his body with their sharp canine teeth. Han Balu screamed pitifully, shrugging his arms like a lunatic, rolling on the ground. But it was useless. 
Even if he had ice muscles, steel bones, or bronze skin, inside the blessed land, all these were weakened and rendered useless. Fang Zheng, I won't let you off even as a ghost, you. Under his curses and cries, Han Bu Lu's flesh and skin were torn apart, his eyes were dug out, and blood flowed out of him, showing his pale white bones. Fang Yuan watched silently, until he was completely dead and motionless. He waved his hand lightly, and the eight wild dogs stopped their attacks, retreating to the two sides and opening a path for Fang Yuan. Their bodies were full of blood traces. Some were still chewing on Han Bulu's bones, some of their claws still had Han Bulu's hair, flesh, and so on. Han Bulu's corpse was completely destroyed. But his stomach area was consciously left intact by Fang Yuan's control. He placed his palm on Han Bulu's stomach, his mind entering the aperture. This was a standard rank for middle stage aperture. But Han Bulu was already dead, thus his aperture was slowly dying and shrinking. Due to the law of this blessed land, all his goo worms were suppressed and unable to move, quietly lying on the surface of the primeval sea. There were five Gu, all from the enslavement path, with two rank four Gu among them. Fang Yuan looked around, and retrieved them all out, easily refining them into his own aperture. Throughout the process, he did not use the spring autumn cicada. The law of the blessed land did not restrict him at this moment, in fact, it helped him to refine these Gu easily. King Quan seemed to encourage Gu masters in killing each other, this showed the cruelty of a demonic inheritance. Fang Yuan killed Han Bu Lu, having seven wild dogs left. During Han Bu Lu's dying struggle, he killed the wild dog that was most heavily injured. At the brink of death, people were often able to unleash great power. Fang Yuan looked at these seven wild dogs, showing a bit of regret in his peaceful gaze. Only seven wild dogs are left, each with injuries, this will make it much harder to get through the future rounds. But compared to the rewards I got, the death of twelve wild dogs is insignificant. These wild dogs were commonly seen in forests of the outside world. Using twelve dogs to exchange for two rank four goo, three rank three goo, this was too great of a deal. The three kings' inheritance, not only is the inheritance a treasure, but the goo masters that enter the blessed land are all moving treasures. Killing them and taking their goo worms, it would strengthen oneself. As the heavenly power descended again, Fang Yuan sneered as his killing intent rose. The misty fog appeared before him again. Fang Yuan looked left and right. Right in front of him was a black shadow, it means an enemy goo master. To the left it was also a black shadow, but the side of this shadow was a protruding spiky shape. To the right it was an orange shadow, similar to before, it represented the chrysanthemum Akita dog. I have seven wild dogs now, my battle strength is lacking, I cannot choose a goo master opponent. To the left, it is the hedge dog, its body is full of spikes and the attack power is twice of an ordinary dog. The right leads to the chrysanthemum Akita dog. Fang Yuan's eyeballs darted around, and he walked to the right. Although the hedge dog had higher attack power, to go through this path, his losses would be severe. Fang Yuan's seven wild dogs were all injured, if their intestines were pierced by spikes, it meant death. Fang Yuan had experience, the hedge dog was dangerous, without any steel armor dogs or yin dogs, he should avoid them as much as possible. All these precious experiences were all intentionally hidden by Gu masters when they found out during the first few months of the inheritance. Most people only learnt after falling into these pitfalls themselves, and would love for others to experience the same. Fang Yuan took large steps forward, and the fog thinned. Near his leg, the seven wild dogs followed closely. They had battled with Fang Yuan along the way, and were all injured. Especially the intense battle with Han Bulu, 
it expended their life force and battle strength. Dog enslavement Gu appeared in mid-air, landing in Fang Yuan's hands. When the fog disappeared, Fang Yuan received twenty dog enslavement Gu, all rank one. Dog enslavement Gu was hard to retrieve, they were planted into the dog's soul. When the dog dies, their soul dissipates, and the dog enslavement Gu dies with it. Even if the Gu master brought lots of rank 1 dog enslavement Gu into the inheritance, it would not help. With the Blessed Land's mysterious powers, it would take away all of the dog enslavement Gu in the Gu master's hands and not return it, only leaving one for them. After a few tries, Gu masters learnt their lesson. A total of nearly 60 chrysanthemum Akita dogs appeared in front of Fang Yuan. These dogs had orange-yellow fur, like the color of an orange. Their long ears drooped down, covering their ear holes. At the same time, there were chrysanthemum patterns on their fur. Their body size was around the same as an ordinary wild dog, or even slightly smaller. But Fang Yuan's expression changed. Chrysanthemum Akita dogs were naturally good at cooperation, the larger their numbers, the fiercer they fight. And Fang Yuan's location was terrible, in the middle of a plan, without no terrain advantage, he could easily be engulfed if he relied on just seven wild dogs. Fang Yuan's ending would not be any better than Han Bulu. I have to get to the top of that mound. Only in the time of one breath, Fang Yuan scanned the surroundings and ran towards the mound with no hesitation. He ran for five steps before the chrysanthemum Akita dogs found him. Woof woof woof. They barked, as numerous chrysanthemum Akita dogs responded. At once, all the surrounding chrysanthemum Akita dogs gathered at one spot, forming into a river-like formation as they charged towards Fang Yuan. This situation, if it was the wild dogs, lightning symbol dog, or hedge dog, it would not happen, unless there was a dog king to command them. But the chrysanthemum Akita dogs had a strong sense of cooperation, even without a dog king, they could still coordinate and unleash a group attack. This was completely different from fighting individually. Fang Yuan narrowly rushed to the top of the mound before the chrysanthemum Akita dogs surrounded it. Fang Yuan retreated until there was a cliff behind him. The chrysanthemum Akita dogs stopped for a moment, before charging again. Because the terrain was narrow, the dog group could only send out fifteen dogs at once. Fang Yuan quickly commanded his seven wild dogs to defend against them. The two groups fought intensely, as Fang Yuan used his outstanding manipulation to hold them back. At the same time, he waved his hand, throwing the five dog enslavement Gu out at the perfect timing. Immediately, he had new fighting troops. Five healthy chrysanthemum Akita dogs, turning around and joining Fang Yuan, causing the situation to reverse. The original fifteen against seven became ten against twelve. Fang Yuan held the advantage. As companions turned into enemies, the dog group went into a panic. Fang Yuan used that opportunity to attack, killing six chrysanthemum Akita dogs, as the other four retreated. He could have taken down all ten chrysanthemum Akita dogs originally, but he chose to let the four chrysanthemum Akita dogs escape. Fang Yuan's rich experience was not just in this aspect. He had twenty dog enslavement goo, but he did not use them all at once, but in batches. This terrain restricted the number of dogs that could enter battle. At the same time, the fewer dogs there were, the more Fang Yuan could use his exquisite manipulation skills. When there are more dogs, Fang Yuan would be more distracted across battles, and his control would weaken. The chrysanthemum Akita dog group attacked again at Fang Yuan's defensive line. Fang Yuan had calculated to perfection, every time he used the dog enslavement goo, it was used at the most crucial area. He not only chose the healthiest chrysanthemum Akita dog that he could find, 
but also ruined the formation of the enemy Chrysanthemum Akita dogs. Such benefits was not obvious, but in time, he gained much from it. After nearly ten attacks, the Chrysanthemum Akita dogs were repelled every time. Fong Yuan had three dog enslavement goo left, and the remaining ten or so Chrysanthemum Akita dogs ran away in fear. These Chrysanthemum Akita dogs were all injured, Fong Yuan had let them off earlier, to avoid their dying struggle. Right now, they were already afraid, and chose to retreat. All this is due to the lack of a dog king to command them, otherwise, they would not have escaped so easily. Fong Yuan breathed out some turbid air, choosing not to attack. After this battle, his seven wild dogs were left with three, but he gained sixteen Chrysanthemum Akita dogs. Under Fong Yuan's skillful control, he distributed the injuries evenly on these dogs. Although they all had injuries, they preserved their battle strength, causing Fong Yuan to recover greatly from his losses in the previous round. Chapter 349 Big Lightning Symbol Dog 13th Round 14th Round 17th Round 18th Round Fong Yuan got through all the stages, and the number of dogs he controlled increased. By the end of the 19th round, he had over 80 dogs. Among them, he had over 40 Chrysanthemum Akita dogs, more than 20 lightning symbol dogs, and 19 hedge dogs. During this period, he killed another person, it was a rank 3 peak stage water path goo master. But, he eventually did not meet by Ning Bing. 20th Round Fong Yuan had been counting in his heart. In the Three Kings' Inheritance, every ten rounds, the difficulty would rise sharply. After the twentieth round, there would be hundred beast kings, and hundreds to nearly a thousand beasts would attack at once. Three lumps of light shadows appeared again in the fog, left, right, and center. The one in the middle was orange, the size of a wicker basket. The left was a eerie blue lightning static, shining and was the size of a stone mill. At the right, it was like the moon in water, flower in fog, it was a green-white formless light shadow. Among the three, this was the smallest light shadow. Fong Yuan was clear, the size of the light shadow represented the size of the beast group, the larger it is, the more beasts there would be. The orange shadow in front represented the Chrysanthemum Akita dogs, around 200 of it. The left was the eerie blue shadow, showing 150 lightning symbol dogs. The right was a green-white shadow, showing the Yin dog group, only around 100 of it. Fong Yuan eliminated the Chrysanthemum Akita dogs from his choice. Once the Chrysanthemum Akita dog group had a dog king, they would be even more united. The larger the numbers, the larger their battle strength. Over 200 Chrysanthemum Akita dogs was a calamity to the current Fong Yuan. Next, he ruled out the Yin dog group. Yin dogs were very unique, they did not have physical bodies, and were like a lump of Yin energy in a dog shape, floating in the air. Ordinary attacks cannot kill them, they can even penetrate mountain rocks, phase through the ground, and hide under water, etc. Fong Yuan's dogs did not have the ability to kill them. Lightning symbol dogs only represented speed, they did not have the ability to emit lightning. After thinking for a while, Fong Yuan chose the left path. After the fog dispersed, the dog group surrounded him, moving alongside him slowly. A rank 2 dog enslavement goo fell from the sky, landing in his palm. When he got out of the fog, the lightning symbol dog group was loitering around the area. On the mound, there was a larger dog, lying on the grass and sleeping. It was larger than an ordinary lightning symbol dog by twice of their size, its body was covered in deep blue fur, sharp and spiky, flowing with static. This was a hundred beast king, big lightning symbol dog. A godsend opportunity. 
Fong Yuan was clear of the battle situation, as his eyes shone in a brilliant light, instantly making his decision. He waved his hand, and sent out all his troops. More than eighty dogs surrounded him in the middle, charging towards the big lightning symbol dog. The big lightning symbol dog's reaction was fast, its ears twitched and it opened its eyes, standing up instantly. It raised his head and howled, assembling the nearby lightning symbol dog group. Getting the command from their king, the surrounding lightning symbol dogs responded and quickly gathered at the dog king's side from all directions. Although the lightning symbol dogs had great speed, Fang Yuan had the initiative. He gathered the force that he had, using them to collective assault the leader of his enemies. Some nearby lightning symbol dogs were faster than Fang Yuan and gathered at the dog king's side. Charge! Fang Yuan's eyes shone with resolution, at this time, hesitation was the biggest taboo. Once he had made up his mind, he would charge ahead fearlessly. The defending lightning symbol dogs were quickly overwhelmed. Fang Yuan's formation was tight, while the lightning symbol dogs were loosely positioned, as most of them had not reached the dog king yet. Woof! As the hundred beast king big lightning symbol dog, seeing its subjects slaughtered, its inner ferocity was unleashed, as it charged towards Fang Yuan while brandishing its claws. Fang Yuan willed, and twenty lightning symbol dogs split into two groups, flanking from the left and right. Nineteen hedge dogs lined into formation, charging fearlessly at the big lightning symbol dog. The remaining dogs, over forty chrysanthemum Akita dogs, surrounded Fang Yuan, slowly spreading out and moving ahead with the hedge dogs. The big lightning symbol dog had fallen into Fan Yuan's encirclement, trapped in the middle. Fang Yuan did not care about the expenditure of his mental energy, mobilizing his dog group and using the most perfect coordination. The big lightning symbol dog had greater speed than an ordinary lightning symbol dog, but because of Fang Yuan's encirclement, its greatest advantage was restricted. It barked loudly, gathering its subjects. Its subjects were rushing over in a frenzy, trying to defend it. Fang Yuan had to trap the big lightning symbol dog, while blocking the attacks of the outside dog group, he faced great pressure and his head started hurting, as sweat poured out of his forehead. The situation was dangerous. If he fought them head on, even if he won, it would be a tragic victory, and his troops would dwindle. Thus, he thought of the, capture the king, approach. But if he could not control this hundred beast king, then Fang Yuan would become the filling inside a dumpling, not only would he fail this round, he might even lose his life. In this Gu immortal blessed land, other than the inheritances Gu worms, other Gu cannot be mobilized, thus it was easy for Gu masters to die. Fang Yuan strength Qi Gu, all-out effort Gu could not be used. Of course, he had his final trump card, Spring Autumn Cicada. But with the Spring Autumn Cicada's current condition, although he could activate it, there was a huge risk in doing so. He was likely to self-detonate and die for nothing. Thus, unless he was forced to the extreme, and had no other choices left, Fang Yuan would not use it abruptly. Sweat gathered into drops on his forehead, falling onto the ground. Fang Yuan did not care about wiping it, he was clutching onto the rank 2 dog enslavement goo, and did not strike yet. He was finding the best opportunity. Using a rank 1 dog enslavement goo and subduing ordinary dogs, he could do it half-heartedly. But to subdue a hundred beast king using a rank 2 dog enslavement goo, there was a possibility of failure. That is because the hundred beast king has natural goo worms on its body. These goo could ruin Fang Yuan's plans. He only had one chance, if the rank 2 dog enslavement goo was destroyed, he would be finished. Thus, he had to be careful. Woof! The big lightning symbol dog was getting anxious, it suddenly opened its mouth and shot out a lump of blue plasma. The dark blue plasma was like a sticky substance, 
falling from above. As it landed on the grass, it did not dissipate, but remained shining, turning the grass and rocks charred black with a crackling sound. This is a rank 2 plasma goo. Fan Yuan immediately recognized the culprit behind this plasma. Plasma Gu did not have a strong attack power. Although the attack was very suddenly, and engulfed Fang Yuan's numerous chrysanthemum Akita dogs, he quickly ordered the dogs in this field of plasma to retreat at the first second. The fur on the dogs were all charred, and they were moving sluggishly, after being paralyzed by the current. But they still had some fighting power remaining. Woof, woof, woof. The big lightning symbol dog continued to shoot out plasma, as it covered a large area of grass. Fang Yuan's brows were tightly knitted, his expression turning grim. The plasma goo's attack power was not high, but it would affect the terrain for a period of time. During this period, the area would be a forbidden zone for Fang Yuan's dogs. Fang Yuan's troops were already in the center, they did not have much room to move. The plasma added onto this disadvantage, being a huge restriction to Fang Yuan's plans in mobilizing troops or changing their formation. Without any choice left, Fang Yuan had to redeploy his troops. He had originally placed the lightning symbol dogs at the outer line of defense, but now they moved in to deal with the Hundred Beast King. He sent the Chrysanthemum Akita dogs out to defend against the over hundred lightning symbol dogs. Lightning symbol dogs moved freely in the area affected by the plasma, in fact, because of the electric current stimulation, their movement speed was even raised. The scene had become extremely disadvantageous to Fang Yuan. Lightning symbol dogs had some fear and hesitation towards the Hundred Beast King Big Lightning symbol dog naturally. This caused Fang Yuan's manipulation to be tougher and more energy intensive, and at the same time his control was weaker. At the outer ring of defense, the chrysanthemum Akita dog's speed was inferior to the lightning symbol dogs, they could only form into a tight ring of defense and defend against them passively. If they were the lightning symbol dogs, Fang Yuan could still use speed to restrict them through kiting. Endure, we have to endure this. I've already learned of the hundred beast king's first gu, next, we have to continue. Although he was in danger, Fang Yuan's heart was still calm and peaceful. Every time the plasma goo was activated, it needed a cooldown of five breaths. The plasma goo itself needed rest too. During this five breaths, Fang Yuan could activate the rank 2 dog enslavement goo without fear of the plasma goo's attack. But Fang Yuan did not know what other goo this hundred beast king had. To be safe, he had to continue testing. Time continued to pass, and the situation was getting tougher for Fang Yuan. He had lost 14 lightning symbol dogs, only having 9 left. The hedge dogs were not the same race as the lightning symbol dog, thus there was less casualties, but only 11 remained. Chrysanthemum Akita dogs suffered the greatest loss, from around 50, they fell to less than 20. But Fang Yuan did not manage to find out if the Hundred Beast King possessed a second goo. He decided to strike. I can't wait anymore. Most likely, this big lightning symbol dog only has one goo on it. He had to take a risk. If he continued waiting, his line of defense would be completely broken. Rank 2 Dog Enslavement Goo while the big lightning symbol dog shot out a plasma bolt, Fang Yuan quickly struck and unleashed his goo. Under Fang Yuan's supervision, the dog enslavement goo successfully flew into the big lightning symbol dog and planted itself into its soul. A formless impact in terms of mental energy assaulted Fang Yuan through his dog enslavement goo. Fang Yuan's head was already hurting, but after suffering this attack, he instantly felt dizzy. This was the soul of the Hundred Beast King, the resistance towards the enslavement. Subduing a Hundred Beast King was not easy. Fang Yuan's body wavered,
gritting his teeth as he endured. A mental connection allowed Fang Yuan and the big lightning symbol dog to communicate. The dog was still resisting earlier, wanting to chop Fang Yuan into pieces, but the moment later, it started barking, wagging its tail at Fang Yuan affectionately. The surrounding lightning symbol dog group heard the dog king's call and stopped their attack. The intense battle had ended, and peace returned. Fang Yuan stood on the spot, turning his head and looking at the battlefield. The risk paid off. Although he had some losses, but looking around him, there were at least 120 lightning symbol dogs. Not to forget, he had a hundred beast king that possesses a plasma goo. Fang Yuan's battle strength surged. Chapter 350 Dog Guts Goo The fog ahead was thick. Fang Yuan was walking in the fog, beside him, there was a large dog group. Eleven hedgedogs, a hundred and thirty-two lightning symbol dogs, seventeen chrysanthemum akita dogs. Other than that, there was a hundred beast king, big lightning symbol dog. Restricted by the heavenly power, the dog group followed Fang Yuan silently, quiet and obedient, not making a sound. In the world of the fog, all was silent. It was so silent that Fang Yuan hear his own breathing. Although he had endured twenty rounds, and the dogs in his hand had reached the highest so far, Fang Yuan was not optimistic. In this three kings' inheritance, every ten rounds, the difficulty would rise by many times. Although I have more than a hundred dogs now, to survive the next ten rounds and get to the thirtieth round on my first attempt, it will not be easy. Thirty rounds, that was Fang Yuan's goal for his first attempt in King Quan inheritance. In his previous life, the Three Kings inheritance was only completely wrung dry after many years. Fang Yuan would have to spend quite a bit of time on San Cha Mountain, it was not realistic to attempt to get the inheritance in one go. Three Kings inheritance, all three were tough. Even if Fang Yuan had a hundred beast king, and over a hundred dogs, he could only stabilize his current position. In the future rounds, if he got careless in any of them, he might lose everything, losing the dogs that he had painstakingly subdued, and even his life. A demonic inheritance was this cruel. This King Quan inheritance, the deeper we go, the more advantageous it is for an enslavement path Gu Master. I walked on the enslavement path before in my previous life, but this time, I am a strength path Gu Master. After experiencing that dangerous battle, Fang Yuan's head was still dizzy. Using his mental energy so intensely, spending all his energy to control the dog groups to battle, this was the backlash. But if it was an enslavement path Gu Master who has a strong soul, such symptoms would be very small. Gu masters on the enslavement path enslaved beasts or worms. They have to manipulate large numbers of worms or beasts at the same time, it used up a lot of their mental energy. Thus, enslavement path Gu masters often used a special set of Gu worms to train and increase the quality of their own soul. In the King Quan's inheritance, the heavenly power did not restrict the soul enhancements of Gu masters at all. Thus, enslavement path Gu masters had a huge advantage in King Quan inheritance. But the enslavement path is very tough. Firstly, food was a huge burden, the large the size of your beast or worm group, the more food you needed. Secondly, to recruit strong worm or beasts, it is not easy. One can easily suffer a backlash, turning into an idiot. Thirdly, Enslavement path Gu masters overly rely on their beasts or worms. Their bodies are weak, and they are easily to deal with when alone. Fang Yuan analyzed in his mind. The different styles of Gu masters all had their strengths and weaknesses, difficulties and advantages. The world was changing, the world was transforming. In the current Gu world, Qi path was non-existent, strength path was declining, only left with a trace of its former glory. Enslavement path was extremely ordinary, and was hard to rise up. 
Occasionally, some enslavement path experts rise up, but vanish like a shooting star, only brilliant for a moment. Enslavement path Gu masters have a huge requirement for resources. It is tiring on the mind and body, even a middle-sized clan cannot afford to feed an enslavement path Gu master. At most, large or super clans would choose to nurture a few enslavement path Gu masters for war purposes. Within the demonic path, it is even harder for enslavement path Gu masters to survive, barely any even exists. That is why I did not choose this path. Fang Yuan calmed his spirit, focusing his mind. After a while, he felt his head clearing up, as the dizziness faded. He opened his eyes, looking around. To his left, right, and front, there was a light shadow each. Earlier, the light shadows were a blur. But after twenty rounds, they became extremely clear. The left shadow was a group of chrysanthemum Akita dogs, around two hundred of them. Some sprawled on the ground and rested, some were playing, while the rest were drinking milk from their mother. Fang Yuan concentrated his gaze, looking intensely. The beast kings of the chrysanthemum Akita dogs were different from others, the stronger they were, the smaller their bodies. Especially in a chaotic battlefield, the beast king mixes in with the dog groups, and become hidden. It was a good way to protect itself. Where can the hundred beast king be? Fang Yuan looked around, and suddenly the light shadow changed, showing a goo. This goo was fist-sized, shaped like a pebble, dark brown in color. Its surface was smooth, like it had a layer of oil. Dog Guts Goo Fang Yuan recognized this goo at the first second, appearing after the beast group, that means that if I choose this group of chrysanthemum Akita dogs, and attain victory, I will get a dog guts goo. A while later, this light shadow vanished. Fang Yuan did not make his decision, but looked at the middle one. The light shadow in front of him was showing a blackish dog group. These dogs were barking at each other, charging and crashing together. It showed the ferocity and violent nature of this type of dog. This was the steel armor dog. There was a leather armor on this type of dog, the leather armor was dark and heavy, like steel, it had strong defenses. In the process of growing up, the dogs would knock into one another, to reduce the intense itchiness of their bodies growing bigger. The hundred beast king of the steel armor dog had the same size as the big lightning symbol dog. It was very noticeable among the dog groups, Fang Yuan found it almost immediately. Immediately after, the light shadow flashed, and a goo appeared. This goo, Fang Yuan was familiar with it, he had used it earlier. Rank 2 Dog Enslavement Goo If I choose the steel armor dog group and win, I get a dog enslavement goo. Fang Yuan muttered, turning his gaze to the right. In the light shadow on the right, there was no dogs at all. Instead, it showed a mountainous scene, with grey-white mountain rocks and cliffs, green trees swaying with the wind. After a while, this image vanished, not showing a goo like before. This is a chance to leave the King Quan inheritance. Fang Yuan knew in his heart. King Quan inheritance was created inside the blessed land, Gu masters who enter were restricted by the heavenly power, unable to enter or leave at will. But the three kings inheritance was not a place without exits, there was a hope of survival in it. At every set interval, there would be a chance to retreat from the inheritance. Just like this time, if Fang Yuan chose the right side, when he leaves the fog, he would be transported out. He would appear at the mountainous area as shown in the light shadow, and this mountain waste was not far away, it was somewhere on San Cha Mountain. But Fang Yuan did not choose the right side. I have the resources on me to continue forward. It is too much of a pity if I leave now. Of course, there might not be a chance for me to leave later. This was also a formless test. 
Many Gu masters, although they had strength, in order to stay safe, they decided to give up and leave the inheritance, wasting such a good opportunity. Some Gu masters had no talent, but went forward recklessly, missing the opportunity to retreat, they die in regret. Fang Yuan had never lacked courage, he gave up this opportunity resolutely. To him, there was only two options. To the left, it is the Chrysanthemum Akita dogs. This dog is most united, and the location of the dog king is unknown. If I win, I get a dog guts Gu. Dog guts Gu is a rank 2 supplementary Gu of the enslavement path. It is used on dogs, once activated, it allows the courage and morale of my dogs in a certain range to rise, sweeping away their fear and drawing out their complete battle strength. Fang Yuan thought about his previous match. He was forced to use the lightning symbol dogs to attack the big lightning symbol dog. In the end, the lightning symbol dogs were fearful and battled in trepidation, having much less battle strength than normal. Fang Yuan had to waste his mental energy to force them to fight, causing his mind to feel exhausted. Beast King suppressed and generated fear in ordinary wild beasts. But if Fang Yuan had used the dog guts Gu earlier, using it on the lightning symbol dogs. These lightning symbol dogs would feel extremely courageous, no longer fearful and could execute brave attacks towards the big lightning symbol dog. Thus, the dog guts Gu, although not an attacking Gu, it was the best supplementary Gu. It targeted dogs, causing their courage to double or triple, raising their morale sky high. Dog Guts Gu is only rank 2, it can allow ordinary dogs to suppress their fear towards hundred beast kings. Above that would be the rank 3 dog guts above Mountain Gu, able to resist the fear towards a thousand beast king. At rank 4, it would be dog guts above Sea Gu, able to resist the aura of a myriad beast king. If it can rise to rank 5, it would be the infamous dog guts above Heaven Gu. It can cause dogs to go into a frenzy, going crazy and attacking like a tsunami, even having the courage to overturn the emperor of dogs. Fang Yuan knew clearly, and even knew that in King Quan inheritance, there were rank 1 to 5 Gu of the Dog Gut series. In his previous life, many people had obtained the rank 3 and 4 Dog Guts Gu, and there was even a lucky person who obtained the one and only rank 5 Dog Guts above Heaven Gu. If I want to conquer the King Quan inheritance, the dog guts Gu is necessary. Fang Yuan had to admit, he had always had a desire towards dog guts Gu. But his steps did not move to the left, but instead, moved forward. He chose the steel armor dog group. Although he wanted the dog guts Gu badly, he was not overwhelmed by greed. The Chrysanthemum Akita dogs were extremely united, they were extremely strong in group battles, it would be a tough battle. At the same time, the dog king hid itself very well, Fang Yuan could not find it, it would be a huge threat. But the steel armor dogs were different. Their dog king was very apparent, and in Fang Yuan's hands, he had a special tool that was extremely effective against steel armor dogs. Fang Yuan walked out of the fog, and the steel armor dog group was vigilant, immediately having a reaction. As the hundred beast king, big steel armor dog howled, causing the dogs to run and gather by its side. During the whole process, Fang Yuan observed silently. He did not attack like before, because last time, he had a rank 2 dog enslavement Gu, but now he did not have it anymore. He needed to exterminate this group of dogs to pass this round, and get a dog enslavement goo as a reward. 